Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and Learn Google Photos. In this video, I'm going to be showing you why on a Samsung or other Android device, you should use Google Photos to delete the photos instead of the built-in gallery that came with your phone. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I'm talking about these two apps. This is Google Photos. This is the Samsung Gallery that came native on this phone. I've just taken three pictures that I want to delete and I want you to see them using both apps. So I open up Google Photos and there you see three photos. Delete me, one, two, and three. I see the same photos using Gallery, delete me, one, two, and three. Now, how many copies of each of these photos are there? That's what I really want you to think about. When you take a picture, it goes on to your camera roll. So if I take a picture and it's, it's immediately on the camera roll. I call that the on-device copy. And Google Photos sees that copy right away. Then, if you have the backup and sync turned on, which I always do on my Google Photos, then it is copying the on-device copy to the cloud in your Google account. Therefore, each of these has two copies, one on the device and one in the cloud. So first I'm going to show you deleting with the gallery. I open gallery, I open this, the first delete me photo, and I tap the trash can. Move one image to the trash, move to trash. Now, how many copies did that delete? That deleted the on-device copy. My Samsung Gallery app only has access to the on-device copy. If I go to Google Photos, that picture is still there, but this one is the cloud copy that I'm now seeing. Now for the picture number two, I'm going to use Google Photos trash. So I, I opened that one photo and notice this looks different here. I'm using Google Photos now, not the gallery. When I tap delete here, Google gives me a message that this will remove it from the Google account, that means the cloud copy, and the synced devices, that means the on device copy. So I move to trash. Now let's go back to gallery and see that that number two, both number one and number two are gone now. So Google Photos does delete the on-device copy, which is what gallery is seeing. Now what if you say, but I only want to delete the on-device copy, so do, don't I need to use gallery to do that? No. In Google Photos, so I'm going to now show you the the third way in Google Photos if I open up this third delete me and I just swipe up on it I get the option to delete from device so when I do that it's delete from device item will remain in your Google account and delete it so now I still see that one using my Google Photos app but if I go to gallery it is gone. All three of them are gone. So to sum that up, <laughs> first you need to realize how many copies of a photo you have. When you take a photo, you get one copy that is on the device in the camera roll. As soon as Google Photos gets the opportunity, it copies it to the cloud. So you now have two. When you use the native gallery app, it can only delete the on-device copy. So I say do not use the gallery app. Get accustomed to using Google Photos because you can do both. With the trash can, it deletes both on-device copy and cloud copy. If you want to delete only the device copy, you can do that with a single photo by swiping up and choosing delete from device. Or with multiple photos, you select them and then the three-dot menu and delete from device. If you want to delete all the photos on the device, google that's what the Google Photos free up space command is for.